Hello, I'm Dimitri from SmartMaker. Today we are in the lab to talk about the just released IMP002, the solder down module from Electric IMP. Electric IMP produced the solder down module for manufacturers, so the, uh, the product comes in uh, reels of uh, 200 piece. Uh, what you will get when you buy one is uh, actually a cut of the reel. So the first thing that we need to do is to take out from the package the actual module. As we can see the size is not much different from the previous developer edition that is uh, it used the SD card form factor. The size is uh, almost the same but the big difference is that uh, the solder down module offers double of the I.O. Uh, compared to the SD card uh, form factor. So here we have uh, uh, the same function, the same CPU, the same Wi-Fi, but we have uh, a total of uh, 12 uh, different GPIOs. Uh, another difference is that uh, the SD card um, can be plugged in many different uh, uh, devices, so it requires that uh, every device have its unique ID. Uh, in the case of the module, uh, it's not actually um, see like something that can go in different device it should be uh, joined to a single device so uh, it doesn't require um, a unique ID the, the ID of the module is already in the system so you don't need to add any device any component uh, that create uh, an ID for, uh, for this the module is a solder down so it means that uh, you need to uh, actually solder it uh, on a device uh, in order to be used. If you buy it from SmartMaker or from one of our authorized uh, resellers, uh, you will receive for free a breakout board. A breakout board that is based on the Ego library that uh, we design and uh, offer uh, free open source. It allows you to actually apply uh, the module over the board and uh, every function is uh, broken out so uh, the side is the one uh, compatible with the breadboard so using this uh, free for our client uh, breakout board you will be able to uh, use your uh, module on any, kind, any standard breadboard to solder down the module on the breakout uh, PCB uh, we will use simply a soldering iron with a very thin tip. Soldering wire, I use a 0.5 millimeter. Uh, it's better to don't use bigger soldering wire. Also, uh, to plug the module over the breadboard, we will need to use uh, some header. In this case, uh, you can see that uh, I use uh, a, a pin header that is uh, double. Um, this will make, when apply on our uh, breakout board, uh, this will be available also uh, on the top side. I use this kind of uh, header simply because uh, uh, it's very convenient when you do test uh, with a breadboard. For example, uh, I use all the time this very small but uh, useful tool. Uh, this is a logic uh, analyzer uh, actually uh, with only 29 US dollar uh, on uh, smartmaker.com uh, you can transform uh, any computer in a 8 channel 24 megahertz uh, logic analyzer and uh, it comes with this kind of, uh, of cable uh, so if I use the long headers I can plug the logic analyzer directly on the uh, on the breadboard I don't need any other extension and this is very useful because uh, um, when I do the bugging uh, when I write uh, um, code for the electric imp I really use very much the logic analyzer so the first problem you have to solve when you want to solder down your module on the breakout board or on any board is to uh, fix properly the position uh, for this I suggest a very simple trick, a piece of uh, tape. You can uh, take the tape and uh, apply on the module 
then you will find the perfect position that uh, makes uh, you make sure will match every every contact of the PCB and then you fix the position with the tape in this way you don't have to worry about uh, the module moving during the, the soldering of the first uh, point because the tape will hold it in the position so it will be totally fine the next step it will be to start from the four corner to do the soldering you just keep the tip in the position until the material will melt in the in the proper way you can do this for the four corners and then you will make sure of the position after you are sure that the position is correct you can remove the tape and uh, go ahead with the soldering of all the other points after you have completed the soldering of every point you can go ahead with the male header so you will solder down the male header and uh, you this will make you able to use your electric imp 002 solder down module on a breadboard you will notice that uh, the the breakout board have different position for the power header here you can uh, solder a two pin male header and this position is designed to match the position of the power lines on a common breadboard so in this way you will have your module that will plug over the breadboard uh, with the power lines and uh, all the pins broken out and here you have your module completed as you can see I also soldered down a female header uh, on the other side because the two um, breakout for the ground and the 3.3 volt are uh, duplicated um, so in this way I can have uh, also the signal the 3.3 volt and the ground um, broken out on a female header I can use to connect uh, something like for example I usually connect the ground of the scope to this uh, female header so this is your uh, IMP002 solder down module uh, apply on the free uh, for the client of uh, SmartMaker uh, breakout board this is our imp module uh, after the procedure of uh, soldering down on the breakout board uh, I plugged on the over a breadboard and uh, this is the basic setup that uh, allow us to use the uh, imp module the phototransistor used to receive the blink up configuration data is uh, how we inform the imp module about the configuration of our Wi-Fi uh, you can see that I use uh, uh, more than one uh, resistor uh, to set the bias uh, resistor value uh, because uh, with this phototransistor I'm using it is an uh, PT204 um, I had to do several tests and the best solution in this case is to use about 150 kilo ohm for the bias you need to properly tune the phototransistor uh, because uh, we saw that uh, at least we need to give uh, uh, a signal that uh, is about 500 millivolt so uh, for this kind of uh, tuning you need a scope uh, is mandatory you can see how easy 
uh, with this kind of headers um, is to plug, to connect the scope, uh, uh, the probe of the scope to the board and also I use the uh, header, the female header, the solder it down to connect the ground of the scope. Here you can see that I made a kind of uh, matrix of uh, resistors. They are all 47k each. Uh, so what I'm actually doing is very simple. Uh, if I plug this uh, uh, this jumper uh, in this position, I actually have our um, emitter of the photo uh, transistor connected to the ground through two resistors so it's about uh, more or less 100k uh, I can uh, connect in different position and I, I will have 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 10 uh, resistors in series uh, so uh, in this case I will have uh, almost uh, uh, 500k in series between the um, phototransistor and the ground in this way I can uh, uh, see the difference uh, that I get in voltage when I use the, the different uh, values so if I actually uh, do a blink up uh, with 100k uh, with the phototransistor I'm using what I get uh, is a signal um, that uh, is uh, 100 to 150 millivolt. I set my scope to 100 millivolt uh, as a vertical uh, scale. So I know that I need much more, uh, much higher value of resistor uh, to um, to have a good signal. Let's try with the six resistor in a series, and uh, I can see that uh, I have much better signal from 3 to 500 millivolt as a peak uh, my meter uh, my scope measure uh, a peak of uh, let's see uh, up to yes 350 millivolt so we still need more 500 millivolt the really highest peak uh, but uh, is not enough so I will just uh, set the the chain to the highest level and uh, try again a blink up uh, okay the imp is in standby so I need to reset and try to blink sorry I'm touching the resistor and now I have a signal that uh, is stable between 450 and 500 millivolt so this is a kind of signal that uh, can make sure we have a, a good result for the blink up we can use a much slower horizontal scale so we can see easier our signal that is stable between 400 and 600 millivolt so I know that for this kind of phototransistor I'm using I need to use uh, a 470 to 560 kilo ohm uh, resistor to have a proper tune-up. The second mandatory part of the circuit that uh, we must set up uh, on the breadboard is uh, related to LEDs. Electric Imp use uh, uh, two LEDs uh, um, to inform us about uh, what's going on with the mainly with the network configuration. The indicator LED should be by color because both uh, the red and the green together to make a, a kind of orange amber uh, are used to indicate status. So um, red have some meaning, green have different meanings, but also together they have another different kind of meaning. Because I don't have a double color LED right at this time, I just used two separated LED, and we must remember that uh, if they blink, if they flash uh, at the same time, that actually means um, what on the um, card uh, version we see usually as an orange. The maximum current uh, available for uh, driving the LEDs 
is a 20 milliamp. So in this case I'm using a 220 ohm resistors uh, that will give me about 15 milliamp of a drain. Uh, so I will be in the range and I will have uh, the LEDs uh, as much as possible bright. Finally, on this breadboard uh, I also have another LED because I'm going to run a very simple test. So I will uh, use the blink example uh, from the wiki page uh, from Electric Imp. So I set up this uh, LED uh, in the same way we see in the wiki page. The only difference is that uh, I didn't use the pin number 9 uh, for the connection of this LED but I use the pin number 6. I chosen the pin number 6 uh, because uh, it's available only on the solder down module, it's not available on the car so we can see that uh, uh, actually the, so the program is running exactly on the module and it cannot be compatible uh, with the card in this case. So let's give uh, power to our imp module and uh, see how we can uh, blink up and give the information uh, about the Wi-Fi and so get it working online. I will switch on the power supply and we can see that the two LEDs, uh, the red and the green, uh, are blinking at the same time. This is actually an, an orange message and means that uh, the device doesn't have any information uh, related to the Wi-Fi. It has to be uh, to get the first uh, blink up. I already set uh, my telephone uh, with the information so I'm going to blink up. Okay the blink up is finished and now the imp should uh, get online. After blink up, uh, our imp have the information to get online, so when we give power it will be very fast uh, with the connection. The LED green uh, flashing uh, slowly means that uh, we are online, so we can see our uh, imp module uh, in the planner and uh, it's available to get uh, the software that we want to apply. So I have my imp module properly um, commissioned and ready to get online I can uh, give power it will get uh, the connection to the Wi-Fi usually very quickly then I can open my planner on electric imp and uh, I will have my blank my blank uh, module uh, ready to receive software in this case uh, I already uh, wrote the I already wrote the code for the blinkomatic that uh, is the example we can download from the, the wiki and uh, the only difference is that uh, I changed the settings uh, as I said uh, from the pin number 9 to the pin number 6 uh, because I want to show that uh, um, this is a module have uh, 12 GPIOs including the uh, pin number 6 that is not available on the uh, on the imp 001 the SD card form factor uh, one so we can see that uh, I set the blink software and uh, our electric imp is blinking we have loaded the Blinkomatic uh, code and uh, here is our uh, electric imp module running uh, with the LED flashing. That's it, our demo and tutorial uh, is over. Thanks for watching our introduction to electric imp solder down module imp002. If you are interested in the product you can uh, log in at smartmaker.com and you will find uh, a special section dedicated to Electric Imp with all the product including this uh, very new solder down module. Thank you very much.